Hi, everyone. Welcome long back. Long live the Conducator. Yes, long live the dinosaur. The genius of the Carpathians. I think she's talking about me. Welcome to Romania, everybody. The Titan of Titans. Oh, that's a nice Our looking building. God on Earth. This actually reminds me of Tropico. Long live his wife, Dr. Elena. The loving mother of the nation. You are one of the presidential couple's closest trusted advisors. And you fulfill their every wish. For the good of the people. For Raptoria. Wow, that's For the cool. good of the Republic. Okay. With firm steps, the Conducator wow, look at this shall map. stride forward on the ascent to the wondrous pinnacles of communism, on the path to the golden dream of our people. The foremost servant of the fatherland shall escort the country to the height of its industrial development. The targeted expansion of key industries will lead to increasing prosperity for the whole population. Wow, this is huge. While Western Europe suffers from the oil crisis, Romania's refineries shall never stand still. Of course, solely thanks to the diplomatic skill of our beloved Conducator. Okay, deliver crude oil to the refinery is our first objective. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for clicking and tapping that subscribe button and that like button. We're wrapping up this game, coming towards the end now. I think what we should do is a big old oil train. We've got a long distance to go for this one down to the river, and then we could probably transport it down river uh, to the chemical plant and or... Uh, maybe to the port to ship out to sea. All right, let's get started then. We'll build ourselves a big old train. An easy start so far, I must say, in this wonderful game. Actually, we'll have trucks come over here to one station, and then we'll just transport it all down uh, to where it needs to go. So we'll use trucks at a halfway point. This has been a ton of fun so far. I'm just really enthralled with this game. I love it. 120 meter times two for a cargo station, and we'll try to remember to connect that via road. All right, so now today, officially, the game has released. And so, uh, also I put down the wrong station. So I've been learning a lot of things like holding shift, for example, to rotate stations. I'm sure a lot of people were screaming at their screen and all that kind of stuff. But uh, N and M were used to kind of rotate it via like angle snap. But if you hold shift or if you, uh, you know, uh, there's another key, hold shift and then the N and M keys, you can actually be a little bit more sensitive with it. So that's super useful. This almost looks more like a cargo station to me than the other one. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that one. We did a little boo-boo, but that's fine. At least we know where we're going to set it up. Actually, I could convert this, if I wanted to, to a cargo station by using the customization. So it's really not the end of the world. This is just faster. So let's put down our cargo station. Actually, is there anywhere we might else have to connect to? Maybe not. Okay. So we'll connect this here. And uh, we'll use the cargo terminus. There we go. And then we'll also use our uh, depot over here. We'll just rotate that to snap next to this one. Perfect. All right, now let's uh, build our road around back, and we're gonna get this thing connected via the glorious, uh, the, the glorious, glorious uh, oak yeah, of the glorious. Scorny chest. Everything the proudest the fir tree, the trophy of our nation's people. Our beloved Conducator loves hunting, and every animal yearns to be hunted down by him and what? no other. What do you want me to do, ma'am? Keep an eye out that the country's hunter-in-chief reaches the hunting grounds he favors without delay. And see to it that an appealing target awaits him there, too. Uh, you want me to find a bear? Connect the marked areas with roads, plant trees, and find a bear. Uh, what? You want me to connect all these areas? Oh, over here. Okay, looks like we found a bear there. So we got to plant some trees and then let him go hunting. Okay, fair enough. It's, this actually kind of feels a little bit like Borat. <laughs> Seriously, it's like glorious leader make benefit. All right, let's see here. Truck system. So we're going to get our road system going too. So we'll truck the crude oil down here to the train. And then we should be able to deliver it here to this truck station. Shouldn't be uh, too busy of an area, so we won't have to do too much with it. All right, now let's connect to our train down here. Uh, I suppose this would be end of the line too because it's going to go down to the river. Or we'll be living by a van if we fail the great leader. Why is there a giant blank space there? That's weird. What is this? That's a, re that's a recycling center or something, but there's something here. Like a little... Okay. For some reason, I can't build there. Must be some sort of uh, future development. Let's build here, then. All right. Cargo station down. Good. 
And now we'll connect with the right track, I suppose, on this one. And we'll probably end up having to double down, but that's okay. And most Soviet trains, especially in 1974, really can't go over 100 kilometers. And they're all pretty much diesel. I don't think we have too much in terms of electric uh, vehicles at all. But luckily, this area seems to be relatively flat. And we'll build the electric lines if we need to, just in case. There could be some sort of gimmick where we're supposed to use electric trains only or something. All right, so we're connecting all the way up there, so we will need to move around this mountain now. It's starting to reach a little bit of a little bit of mountainous terrain. Oh, it's almost like we're building a Shinkansen again in Japan. There we go. Ooh, there's some bridges here. Okay. Can we go with concrete bridges? Glorious concrete? That actually might be good, because then the train can maintain speed the whole time. Excellent. Let's go with it, then. Uh, let's see. Concrete bridge and approved. Uh, but are we building it on the right side? I believe we are not. We gotta go over here. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so that's good. Then we'll just build a second line just in case. I love how easy it is in this game to build a second line. Like all you gotta do is just kind of drag it along and it just it just works. It's so satisfying. Even from the first game, it was like that. Alright, so all the way down to the river. Oh whoa, whoa. You're swinging out on me, pal. Come on over here. There we go. Snap, snap to it. There we go. And continue on. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we can have two trains heading down there. Let's buy our trucks. So cool in this game, by the way. Like, the easiest thing to do at the start is really to just connect everything and then, like, let it go. Like, once you built your basic economy, you're pretty much ready to go. However, I feel this one's going to be a lot more about industry, so that's going to be important. Let's build our lines now. Line one will go from the truck stop to the train station so we can deliver oil. And then we'll deliver one from the train station uh, down to the harbor, where it should be able to connect, so that should be fine. That's a good distance. We'll start with one train, and uh, let's see how long we can make it. So the station, I believe, is 120 meters long, so we should be able to build a 120-meter train. And then we just need to connect here. Uh, there we go. It's also, it's like glory to a Stotska or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and buy a new vehicle. Uh, what do we got at our disposal? Oh, uh, yeah, the Russian, uh, or the electric train, 160 with, uh, what's the tractive e effort is 165, 400. Wow, uh, this will be a lot better, I think, for hauling that oil. Actually, wait, what's the difference between this one's top speed, 100 or 160? Let's go for a top speed. The track here is relatively flat for a reason, so she won't have to work too hard. And we just don't want to go over 120 meters. Uh, there's 130, so we're going to have to cut her there. Okay, let's buy that train, throw her on to track 2, or line 2 in this case, and then let's get our trucks, and we'll purchase some glorious Soviet trucks here. Let's see, the Ziz or the Man truck. Oh, I guess we can also buy from the West. Uh, let's buy let's buy a couple of these. Capacity's a little higher, and it seems to possibly have a higher rating for uh, durability. Let's buy 10 to start with. And hopefully we see constant deliveries. Okay, the oil supply line should be completed as the glorious leader required. So let's go ahead and speed up time. And then we also need to plant some trees and build a forest road. Luckily we started over here. Let's build a... Is there a way we can build a dirt road going out there? That might be cool. Let's see. These are all kind of city streets. Small street. Um, let's see. Streets. Doesn't look like there's actually any sort of desert roads or whatever. Okay, well, we'll just build a road that goes out there then. And it looks like there's three areas to go to. Wow, look at all that oil. That needs to be picked up. Okay, so do we have to just build the one of these areas? It says zero of two. It still says zero of two. Maybe we have to connect two of these uh, areas. Plant trees. Six out of 160. I <laughs> cut some down. That's okay. We'll make room for more glorious trees. There we go. Actually, this might not be bad, because if I build this forest road here, we'll go ahead and go in that divot there, I can connect this to here, and if we need to get to uh, deliver crude oil over here or fuel, we can have it circle back, something like that. All right, now we need to plant trees. Let's see, assets, European, what was that, European pine? European linden. All right, President Johnson, Lyndon B. Johnson, going here. Good. Looks like I picked the same trees that they have. Okay, and some more here. Hopefully we can attract a bear. I have a feeling those things are going to go uh, wrong with the bear. Oh 
almost there. 119, 140, and finally 160. Any second now. There Very go. good. The bear hunt can begin. Today, our esteemed conducator will surely shoot the proudest specimen in the whole country. Good to hear. All right, now, let's go on to uh, our train. Let's see if it's delivering any oil. It is loaded. Wow, it's fully loaded, too, with oil. We're definitely going to have to have two trains. Electric is perfect for high the speed. The Tribune of Distinction demands that everything is always available in abundance. Supply the capital city with the necessary goods. Excellent. So the city itself requires refined fuel, and then also the plastic factory requires fuel. All right, well, perfectly, we can build a dock here. In fact, there's a port already built for us. So let's build one over here. We should be close enough for it. So we'll just have a ship go up and down the river. Makes sense. And that'll be perfect right here. I found out, too, by the way, today that I can actually build uh, an extended uh, port as well, so I can modify the port to do different things. It's really neat. Okay, so now we need to be able to bring the plastic back. So how will we do that? Plastic needs to get all the way back to our glorious city, and it is too far to do that. But we could actually bring it up here. We could really use the river instead of all these trains, because if we use a river, it'll allow us to have these big deliveries, because the train is going to be bringing a lot of materials. So it'll be good to have, like, two, tr uh, two boats working. Plus, I've never really done a river boat before, so I kind of want to give that a shot. And yeah, let's buy a boat here. Yeah, I've never really done a river uh, route before. Actually, we did once when we were in the Mexico map, which was a ton of fun, and I liked how that worked out. So we should be able to bring stuff to these remote areas. And I think we should buy another oil train just to double down on the amount of deliveries we have. So let's build a couple of uh, switches. Let's just build like one here, and one here. And we'll do this again. So our train, I believe its maximum speed was 160, so I could have built some high-speed rail here, but that's fine, since we're just going to have two of them. And it's not a passenger service, so... Okay, let's build some uh, signals. Hopefully I built that on the other side. Sometimes they're stacked on top of each other. Oh, no, that's right. And our oil trains are going to be super profitable. But it's not about profits, comrades. It's about delivering all the goods to the people. All right, looks like we got everything we need. Now let's duplicate that route. Uh, let's see. I'll just buy another train. I like actually clicking the buttons to do it, even though it's super inefficient. I just like clicking Add to Cart. It makes me feel like I'm actually shopping. All right, there we go. Okay, another one added to line two. Uh, there we go. All right, now let's see if it rolls out. Then we know we're good. Perfect. Oh, that is a nice-looking train. And that'll be loaded with fuel. Let's have it flip around so it can actually pick that up. Good. All right, we need to supply the city with oil now. So we need uh, a, a booze cruise ship here. No, we're going to need a barge some sort. There we go. Uh, tanker boat. Let's see here. Oh, this one will actually haul... Actually, I think we're going to need these, though I don't know if these can go up the river, uh, but it does seem like it was uh, built for transport on the Rhine, so it might be a perfect ship for this. So let's bring one to the city, one to the plastic factory, and then we should be able to bring stuff back. Oh, wow, we actually have a, a hovercraft. Cool. Uh, most produced and successful hovercraft design in the world. Cool. All right, we're going to have to bring plastic back. So let's buy two of those ships as well. Okay, let's go. Uh, what do we want to do? So we want to bring one of our ships down here. And then we're going to bring it uh, back with plastic. Looks like this city will also need to be supplied too. What is that? Plastic for iron ore? That's weird. Oh, it's an export thing, so we're trading. Okay, that makes sense. All right, ship number one. Go from here to there. Perfect. And then ship number two will go to the city with refined oil. I'll also have to set up a truck route to bring it into the city as well. And then truck number or route number three uh, was going to have to go... Actually, 
Uh, this is fine, I'll just have to do it in reverse uh, to bring the plastic back up to the city as well. Good. Okay, so now let's go for ship number one. You are going to deliver oil to the oil refinery. Ship number two is going to deliver... Oh, wait a minute. Ship, ship number one. Unable to find path. No path for big ships. Right, let me just make sure. Sometimes the harbor might need to be updated. Seems like there is a path for big ships, so I'll have to just upgrade the harbor. So we'll do that now. This is the thing I learned about today, which I'm really proud about. Not proud, but I just stumbled upon it and didn't know. And it makes me really excited to play this game more. That is way too big. There we go. Let's see if we can put a dock. Can I put it not so far in there? There we go. And then this should allow me to put a large ship near here. There it goes on this side. Perfect. Then we could do the same here. It looks like they've already set that one up. So the last one needs to be this one up here. So now we can have the big O ships connect to it. So that'll be helpful. Okay, so let's go for cargo. There we are. And we'll go for the landing large dock there. Okay, that should help support our ships. Otherwise, we could go with the small barges too, which are perfect on rivers. So let's try this again. Line three. Hmm. Let me make sure this one has a large parking spot for ships. Okay, this is for large ships, I believe. Maybe we have to make it a little bigger. We might have to fatten these up a little bit, though they kind of take up most of the space of the river. We might have to go with those small barges. Uh-oh. Usually everybody's asking for the big ones. Big O ships. Oh, let's see. We might have to go for this big one here. I just wish it could be built out further like this. Just not out into the actual river. Oh, jeez. All right, let's try this then. There we go. Well, it's going to be a busy area, so I guess it makes sense. Try that again. Okay, that seems to be better for big ships. That's what we wanted. We need the big one for the big ships. Got it. So this one should be able to handle big ships. A little trial and error here, but that's totally painful to watch yelling at my screen. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, now let's go with the same up at the city. See if we can make this one work. Actually, now that I'm designing it for large and small ships, we could also do a passenger service too if we need to, which could benefit us in the long run. We've had plenty of happy little accidents, and that's totally fine because I might stumble upon a way to do something better. Ah, there we go. Look at that. We've built a giant industrial dock now for our glorious nation. Yeah, our capital city has a huge area now. Perfect. And we'll have to build our truck stop over here, too. Let's modify the shipyard one more time. Excellent. And now we have small and large ships that can go here, so totally fine. Now let's build a truck depot to bring things into town. And uh, let's go with the truck station here. Uh, let's see here. That'll be fine. And now we just need to build a truck stop inside of town. Wow, look at how many people are going to get delivered to oil. Perfect. Now a truck depot. So that's under buildings, road depot. Flip this around 180. And there we go. If it'll squeeze in there. Uh, maybe we'll go this way. Okay, good. All right, we should be good now. So let's hope and pray that it works. Line three. No, oh, still no? Come on now. Let's see. Line three. All right, let's try the other lines. Let's see if the other one will work. Let's try ship number four to line five. Unable to find... Oh, no. Maybe the river's not big enough, too. That could be... Oh, looks like none of the ships can find it. No! That's okay. We can get rid of these smaller ones, and we can have we can have more ships on the river rather than bigger ships. That's fine, too. So we'll sell these, get our money back, and let's buy some barges. I guess, you know, to be fair, towboats are a little bit more prevalent on the, uh, on the, on the rivers. So let's go with, uh, let's go with six of these. So we'll have three on line one, three on line two, which is line four, actually, to bring the raw fuel up there. And then we'll just buy a boat for goods. Uh, this one being plastics. Totally fine. Actually, let's buy uh, five of these. Actually, six, because it's going to be a long distance. There we go. And line five. 
Love that music. It's reminding me of uh, what is it? Wor workers and resources, Soviet Republic. Okay, so it looks like the docks are just a little too small, even though I've upgraded them to be big. But we could do some sort of shipment out here. But it also looks like we're going to need to pla bring plastic down here, which might just be easy via the trucks. I mean, it's literally just right, right through that forest. So let's get ready for some initial... Uh, and this is my favorite part of this game where I, I have not played this game before. It's quite obvious, YouTuber. That's right. And um, what I want to do is, like, pl like plan and prepare my routes beforehand. So, like, if I if I see an iron mine or something, I know that the uh, game might pop probably bring me over there. Where, like, I'm going to have to do something with it. So I'm, I'm really happy when I build it ahead of time. Because they wouldn't put it here if you're not going to do something with it in the campaign. Like, they wouldn't just build a giant, you know lumber mill if you're not going to use it it wouldn't make that would not make sense all right let's go ahead and build a truck depot here this will cover the port and the factory excellent all right now it looks like we got george costanza down here and then we've also got uh, bureaucrats bureaucrats we got some bureaucrats living here and then we have somebody named alexander raya okay that's actually alexandria <laughs> okay how much oil are we bringing there oh looks like oil's the moment it's pumped out, it's immediately filled onto the trucks and brought down. That's good. There's no shortage of oil. And, wow, look at all that crude oil being brought out here. Train arrives, 144 capacity, immediately filled up with a little extra to spare, which is fine, just in case production increases. And another train arriving at the same time. No, actually leaving. Perfect. Wow, look at all that fuel there. That's all refined, uh, purified oil, really. So one ship is going to bring that oil to the refinery or rather the chemical plant to make plastics, and then the other one uh, into town. So we should be good here. All right, I'll see you as soon as we complete this goal. Industry All is right. developing marvelously. There we go. But Dr. Elena, Romania's greatest scientist, is convinced the country's economic output could grow much faster than the boldest projections predict. The huge refinery is capable of refining far greater amounts of crude oil the gigantic steelworks able to smelt even more iron ore. The Republic is rich in manifold resources. Sadly, the only one the land is not blessed with is iron. It has to be imported from allied bloc countries in exchange for other industrial products. Okay, so as you can see, I made some big changes already to where I know everything's gonna be connected. So uh, now we can already start importing iron ore. So it looks like we can trade plastic for iron ore and then ship that up to the uh, steel mill. So we need to deliver iron, obviously, to the steel mill and then transport workers. So we then need to start a uh, public transit line. So I'll build a bus surface inside town and then easily build... Uh, I think the best way to transport that stuff up there would be uh, probably via boat. I think our river is going to be perfect for that. I also built a really cool bridge, actually several bridges, because I just wanted to see cars and stuff go across rather than just like trains. So that'll be cool. All right, let me connect everything. This should be fairly easy, just a little time consuming to get all the boats in place. All right, here we go. Comrades, welcome back. And thank you, everybody, for leaving likes and supporting so far throughout this episode. I, I can feel your strength with me. So far, we have built a, a highway here, my first highway in the game, and it's uh, not so good at the bridge. But everything else looks okay. I was kind of struggling with the uh, systems. I was trying to see what would be cool to, like, build a sunken highway or a raised highway or just build it flat on the ground. Looks like it's just best flat on the ground, but it is hard to keep the two rows parallel because the game keeps trying to intersect and have them cross over each other. I see something's up here at the marble plant. It looks like uh, we haven't completed our uh, goal yet for delivering iron or workers, but we're on it. We got people going back and forth and buses moving through town. Uh, but what I did notice is that uh, it looks like, uh, for whatever reason, there's now a giant palace being constructed, and apparently it'll produce something called pageantry. And also, I suspect that with these buildings like this, for example, there's these small buildings I can't build to. I wonder if we have to, um, yeah, there's like areas around here that I can't construct nearby. Uh, so I'm wondering if we have to transport our pageantry out there. I don't know exactly how, but I suppose we could use the highway system at least in order to get uh, them into the nooks and crannies. Because we're not going to have to transport, you know, if it asks us to transport 10 pageantry, I'm not going to be designing a giant train to drop off pageantry. I don't even know what that is. But this bridge at least turned out good. This looks nice. Very nice, going over the old steel mill. So we just need a few more people dropped off. Buses are coming over, fully loaded, hopefully with people. Not fully loaded, but they're getting there. Uh, it's a pretty big city, and there's lots and lots of traffic. Wow, holy crap, maybe that highway system wasn't a good idea. Looks like the best thing we could do, though, is add more buses, try to get people off the streets. Even Look at the highway system. Oh, boy, that's rough. 
I wonder if I can get people to come in somewhere else. Let's try to reroute that while we're waiting. Let's try to build our one-way... It's called. It's not really a highway. It's just called a one-lane county road or country road. It'll take us home. So let's go ahead and use this then instead. I'm going to cut that off and see if I can recreate a route going somewhere else. It seems like it's okay coming out of town, but going into town seems to be a different uh, story. So let's try to bring it back over here. So people can turn left to go to the steel mill or right to go into town. Luckily, I think they're going to go uh, right, and there's uh, much more space here for them to do that. It's suddenly turning into an episode of uh, City Skylines all of a sudden. All right. Fine with me. We also uh, did something really smart down here. I uh, Instead of having our ships going all the way down uh, out into the sea and come over here, I realized that I can just have the, sh the trucks pick up plastic and... Uh, drop it off here and then pick up the iron ore and bring it back and then everybody can just tell, uh, transport everything back up the river so steel transportation is going rather well we've got like a huge thing of yeah look at that all that iron ore is getting delivered so that's pretty good i kind of wanted it to just go here so that way i could have this cool bridge going across i just think that's the coolest thing in the world to see it going like that so let's see what we can do next i guess we'll just wait until a few more workers get transported we just need like a couple more buses loaded with people uh, let's see, I thought we had a bus full of six, but I guess maybe they're not all going there. Uh, the bus is connected to the entire downtown district, so maybe I should make one stop just for the uh, one for the steel mill. But anyway, I'll be back in a second when it's all complete. All right, we are one comrade away from unlocking our next task. I've also upgraded the highway a little bit as best I could, but there's some cramped space, so I can see why it's a good idea to build them somewhat separate. The construction of an artificial waterway from the Danube to the Black Sea was already started under the rule of the Conducator's predecessor. Unfavorable circumstances disrupted the work sporadically, but now the strategist of good fortune is going to bring the canal's construction to completion A canal. so that it will be of great benefit for the further economic development of the country. Going here, maybe? Tens of thousands of valiant comrades, both men and women, oh, are overjoyed that they are being allowed to take part in this millennium project and make the great commander proud. Deliver steel, collect stone, and transport workers. Uh, let's see, where are we going to do that? At the outskirts of beer. Okay. Oh, I see. So we need to transfer steel to get, get stone. Where does it go exactly? To the construction site. Oh, it all needs to go here. Our what? country's great captain and beloved visionary would be more than delighted if the waterways he designed were used fittingly. And Danube skipper Nadia is glad to get every contract she can. Utilization of the country's railroad capacities is quite high. That makes the canal indispensable for cargo transport. Well, luckily, the conducator was kind enough to build this ingenious structure. I'm glad that we uh, have a ton of ships already working. That school is uh, already in the bag. We don't have to worry about that. Let's go back to the secondary. So we need to. Uh, Bring workers down here to the construction site. We also need to deliver steel and stone. So where do, how do I collect stone exactly? Or where do we bring it when we're done, more importantly? So it seems like when we bring down steel, it'll create stone, but where exactly do we bring the stone? That's a quarry, uh, a marble quarry what up there. What knowing foresight our brilliant Convocator had when he erected the Danube Black Sea Canal. Oh, that was easy. It is proving to be absolutely vital. I'm not exactly sure what to do with the stone, but I guess we'll just have to start with the first part. Okay, first things first, then we're going to have to deliver passengers. Uh, so let's do, uh, well, actually, I think we can do the steel. And there's already a road built here, so it might be a good idea to just bring steel down the river. Um, so maybe I could put like a small uh, truck stop here or something like that. Transporting everything on the river is like perfect. Lots of river traffic brings in lots of money. So let's go ahead and deliver steel, stone, and then also the other thing, which is transport workers. All right, just like last time, I'll see you in a second. All right, comrades, took a while. I actually stepped away to do some stuff, but now we're ready to build the canal. I let the game run, and it was going pretty good. Let's see what Everything the uh, is ready thing is to here. complete oh, this colossal yeah. structure with For the real. greatest precision. All right, dig the canal in the marked area. Oh, she wants me to, like, for real, like, dig a canal. Are you kidding me? Okay, <laughs> this is going to be cool. All right, so let's uh, cut the road here. We'll build a uh, bridge going across here in a second, so that way our traffic isn't interrupted. Let's wait for that last little family sedan to get across there. There we go. Okay, now we are ready to build ourselves a canal. I can't believe it. That's cool. Okay, let's go here and here. <clears throat> and maybe one more. All right, let's dig this canal. 
And... Okay, we are good. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Appreciate everyone being out. We are now mission complete. Just kidding. Uh, oh, I cut the line. Line is uh, no longer accessible. All right, let's uh, bring that brush size up. Ooh, this is going to be super expensive. Uh, ooh, all right. So we're at 2%, 15%. So if I let go of the uh, mouse button, then it registers it. So I suppose let's just build it all in the marked area. Easiest way to do this, I think, is to hold W. I do this a lot in City Skylines in order to make, like, a smooth edge. But that's right. This doesn't have to be perfect. Cool. All right. We just want to make things nice and smooth. Now, that actually is great because now we can get out over here. All right. We're at 60%. Do we have to be deeper? Okay. Let's get... All these edges tucked in. There we go. Get them a little bit further away from the blue. 90%. There we go. Get us back a few more pieces of land away from the canal. That's probably going to be 95%. Eh, pretty close. 95. 94. What? 99. There we go. Just one little bit. Perfect. Sensational. The canal completed in record time is testimony to the genius of our conducator. Luckily, it took one second because I was paused. Meanwhile, Dr. Elena has had another glorious idea. A program for systemizing the district neighborhoods. A severe earthquake recently destroyed large segments of the capital. It's time to level the woeful remnants and make a socialist urban architecture oriented to the future come true. One cue with a finger from Dr. Elena signifies demolish, modernize, civilize. There's a lot to do. Oh, great. Find out which brilliant ideas should be used in each district, okay? I'm clicking on the... Question mark here. There we Impressive go. Impressive city blocks testify to the visionary residential building policy. Gigantic complexes of steel and plastic will provide thousands of happy families with a comfy home. Hmm. Deliver 50 steel and 50 plastic. Okay. What's the next one? The tumble-down shacks in the center of town have been a thorn in Dr. Elena's eye for quite some time. They offend her sense of aesthetics. Away with them. Demolish three houses and three streets? Okay. Even though it says three meters up street. Oh, okay. Luckily, the tangle of twisted alleys is soon history. In the future, the routes will be neat, orderly, and laid out at right angles. That makes everything simple and efficient. You want me to build stuff in right angles? Okay. Let's try to do this street building first. Uh, whatever. Weird. <laughs> okay, that's worse than it was. <laughs> All right, let's demolish three houses now, and then we'll go on to the big goal. Uh, so she wants us to demolish, what is it? Uh, there we go, the North District. So you want me to demolish three meters of road, like that? Demolish streets, one of three. Uh, oof. Um, let's see, does this count? There we go. All right, let's just let that rebuild now. Wish there was an easier way to make a straight road like that. There we go. Okay, now our final goal to deliver 50 steel and 50 plastic. Now, that's going to be a little tr tricky because uh, we are delivering uh, oil to get plastic and then plastic to get iron ore. So I'm going to have to, like, take some of our plastic back up north. So I'll probably make a ship or something in order to siphon off some of those, some of that plastic. Actually, this plastic is going up north already, isn't it? Hold on, where's that plastic going? We have one of these lines transporting plastics. Uh, what is it exactly? I can't actually see which one it is. Uh, okay, the best way to do this is probably to select the boat. Because it looks like there there is plastic being stored here at the harbor. It looks like line 8 is taking some of the plastic to the north and delivering it here. So then what line is taking plastic into town? Could be line... Uh, this orange line here, line 6... Uh, looks like it's taking plastic there, so we want 
Oh, wait a minute. East District wants more plastic. Oh, they're already getting plastic. So it just needs to naturally deliver. Then how do I get the steel here? Well, all we have to do is redirect our deliveries from uh, down here to up north. So let's go ahead and change that around again. Uh, so we want line 12 to go to... And I was having that bring back stuff. Let's go ahead and just have the steel mill East Exchange just delivered into town. And then we should be good. All right, let's go here. This is the East Sector, right? Okay, so now we should be able to have plastic and steel delivered in no time. All right, now we play the waiting game. We have all the trucks. We're just reorganizing. All right, let's wait it out. All right, we got two new objectives. Let's take a look at what they are today, uh, except for this one. Make sure that the country's first family is able to behold what pleases their eyes. Interesting. Oh, I was right. We need to transport stuff up here. So we need to go to these factories in order to develop pop. I have no idea what that is. So we need to transport people, basically, to the factory in the north and uh, then bring it back into the town. Actually, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Uh, so we need to bring marble here. Well, whatever. Let's just do one thing at a time. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we've got our factory over here ready with marble. And it looks like this accepts marble and then creates pop. And then this accepts pomp or something. I, I don't know. All right, uh, let's figure it out. So let's see. Deliver pomp. Deliver 200 pomp to the palace construction site. The factory produces one unit of pomp for every 10 people transported. Okay, fine. Uh, apple trees. We need to place apple trees down. Well, this is easy. Take 50 people to each of the grandstands of the construction. Why are people going to the? Why are people going to the mill? I mean, to the, not the mill, but the canal next to like the refinery. What? Okay, let's go to the palace and decorate it with a hundred... Oh. Okay, so this is the thing I found earlier, like all these little hidden buildings before. All right, first let's find apple trees. That'll be easy. Red delicious apple. Okay. So let's plan, plan, plan to... Uh... There we go. It's got to go around the palace? Looks like we're already bringing in cheering crowds, too. Okay, wow. I'm, I'm like, completing this and I'm not even knowing how. Uh, let's just increase the brush size. There we go. <laughs> All right, all of Bureaucrest is now apple trees. Glorious, glorious apple trees. Excellent. Well, it's got to be all around the palace. Okay, the next is to transport people to the grandstands of the canal construction site, oil refinery, and steel mill. Well, we've already got a, a transport route there to the canal, so that's already going to be taken care of automatically. And then as for pomp, I'm just going to have to figure out that supply chain. Wow, I actually kind of like the town being filled with apple trees like that. It's gorgeous. Okay, we got to squeeze in. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, the crowds are going to be taken care of automatically then, so let's figure out the delivering of pomp. So, uh, all right, so marble needs to be transported. I already, I'm already way ahead of this one. I already bought a bunch of trucks for this eventual route. I knew we were going to use this at some point, so let's... Uh, oh, wait, I already had a line ready to go. Perfect. <laughs> I was so far ahead of the game, I already figured it out. Line 11 is where we're going to go with these. So this is going to deliver a bunch of marble to the palace construction site. Okay. The People's House, as it's called. So that's going to help us to construct that. And then that generates pomp, and then we can bring it here. But this says it's producing pomp. I, it's, a, it's such a weird mechanic. I don't know. I mean, like that's like producing happiness. It's like, yeah, down here at the old happiness factory, we got Craig working on the arc welder. Craig, how long have you been working here? I got two kids, and I've been here all my life. Like, okay, Craig, thank you. All right, people are transported, so this goal is already knocked out of the park, so that's great. Rapturous applause. Magnificent plantations line the route. Earn all metals Exuberant in the entire campaign. waves of applause burst forth. Um, and it all testifies to the infinite wisdom and benevolence of our revered presidential couple. I didn't do that. I didn't, I didn't complete er, earning all... I didn't... What? I didn't complete... Oh, maybe that was of this specific campaign, but it made it seem as if it were like the entire, like the entire campaign. Okay, so now we're delivering trucks, fully loaded with marble. Oh, look at this traffic! Holy crap! Luckily, it's uh, pretty good in town. It's actually like moving. Like, there's not cars aren't stagnant for too long. Well, they got to go to the palace, and that's inside town. So I mean, that's there's really no way around it. Could probably upgrade some of these roads and make the roads wider. 
Uh, so I guess we need to double down on the width of this road. Let's go for... Oh, actually, let's try to go as wide as possible. Wherever and whenever we can. Can't there because they're too close, but everywhere else it looks like we can. There we go. Looks like I laid it out far enough apart. Good. The only spot it gets narrow is here. Let's uh, have the highway come in here. There we go. Sorry, folks. You're moving your homes for the way of progress. There we go. Okay, that should help funnel in some more traffic. Hopefully, uh, we're going to have to redesign this. Who am I kidding? Can't do that. Let's try to make a turn here of a big highway. Okay, there we go. All right, there's a problem with routes, route line nine. What's the problem here? Uh, could not connect all stations. Oh, oh yeah, I know why that is. That doesn't matter anymore. Okay, I'm gonna generate pomp and let's get out of here. Rebuild Romania to its, uh, actually better than ever before. Here we go. All right, so I just wanted to go over some things quickly that I made changes to. I made this uh, side delivery point because there was tons of traffic in front of the palace, so I kind of reworked things so there was a switchback for the construction site that's temporary and then we'll delete it. Buildings can go back there and look great. I also added a high-speed train between the two cities to generate more passenger transit uh, because every 10 passengers equaled one pomp so that uh, we were able to, uh, it wasn't about delivering it to that factory, to but just transporting in general. Only the finest products from the People's Republic itself are supposed to be used. For instance, marble from Transylvania. All right, so we had already been transporting marble here, but uh, you know, it wasn't registering it yet, so we had to do one thing at a time. So I'm gonna transfer all these trucks uh, from line, what is it, 16? Got 28 vehicles here, so I'm gonna transfer them all now to uh, line 11. So that way they can bring back all the marble. Uh, yeah, I think I did that correctly. So uh, there's marble here, and uh, we were transporting that before. Interestingly enough, when I was transporting it, the, the palace looked complete. And then when I switched the trucks over to do pop, just so there was less traffic, it uh, kind of destroyed the thing. So yeah, we got lots of road vehicles, and uh, we're in 1983 now, so hopefully uh, we're all good. This should be the last delivery then, and we should be out of here. Imagine owning this tiny little house next to the palace and next to, like, what looks to be like a military depot with all these trucks running in and out. All right, so it looks like all the trucks are bringing in the requirement um, marble right now. We just need them to kind of finish up offloading. So there's a few more trucks coming down the road, fully loaded and uh, ready to go with marble, or at least they should be. The marble plant uh, produced quite a bit, but the trucks... I think uh, at a certain point we're a little faster than production. So I think by the time they got over, there was about 100 sitting there. So we should see it all come in very soon. Also upgraded the highway system a little bit just to complete this specific goal. It's not like we're playing City Skylines. I'm trying to build a permanent city. I'm trying to get on the next mission because I want to see what's next. But we are delivering quite a bit of marble, and I don't think there's anything else to deliver. If we look around the map, we've pretty much done everything there is to do in terms of connecting and using all the uh, resources out here like the oil, and the steel mills and uh, of course all the people connected so that way we could generate pomp. All the cities are connected too via roads even if uh, people aren't using the buses they're still taking their cars which is pretty cool and also uh, a big highway here that is somewhat successful it makes me excited to build more highways in the future and take a little bit more time doing it. A lesson learned every time we do it. Look at that we've already transported over 7,000 people in the game that's pretty impressive. All right uh, where are we here? Where's the palace? There she is. All right, so we need about, I think each one of these trucks hauls, let's see, 15 maybe? How much, uh, oh, 17. All right, so we need maybe, oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it all depends on how many more trucks are loaded. So maybe let's say five more trucks coming in fully loaded uh, after these ones, because I'm assuming they're loaded too. So it all, and it all depends on what they have in stock. Since our marble is dwindling now, we've got this whole army of trucks coming through. They're generating a little bit of marble at a time, so no matter what, like, I don't think we can speed that up. It just, it is however long it is, no matter if we <laughs> delivered it via airplane. Could you imagine if we build an airport here instead to deliver marble via plane? It'd be awesome. And, uh, yeah, good luck to everybody in front of the palace, because I need this area for me, so that way I can build my, uh, my palace. Out of the way, I'm building my, uh, this will just be my guest room, I think, for, for visitors, you know. My other palace is somewhere on the moon. Really? Why did we have to build this crap? It's not even really that impressive. It almost looks like a like a department store, really. Like you'd have your Nordstroms, your Sears, 
uh, maybe your, uh, I don't know, Best Buy, and uh, I don't know, what, el what else would be in the corner? Maybe, at this point, probably a dollar store or something, because ain't nobody getting to work. Everyone's going to be broke. Everyone's getting fired, because I need all this room. So let's see. A few more trucks should do. All right, there we go. One more, then. That should be our last truck. <gasps> there it is. That's it. The house of the people is nearly finished. The masses are positively bursting to express the enthusiastic joy in light of this great accomplishment. Wait, what do you mean? Organize a triumphal procession for the presidential couple. What do you want me to do? Connect the mark zones at the grandstand of the canal construction site, the refinery, and the steel mill. You want me to build a bus route? The all of these already have uh, buses to them, except for the, oh yeah, of course, the glorious uh, oil refinery. Yeah, let's all let's all bask in the glory of literally pollution. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Are you kidding me? All right, let's do this real quick then. We're running out of time here, like a million years ago. Okay, let's build a, I'm just gonna build these big old truck stops here. Forget it, who cares? So we got one already at the steel mill, so we're good there. So we just need to con quote unquote connect these. Okay, let's build another stop here. All right, now it says connect the mark zones. Wait, there's four zones. Oh, the final one is down here, and we already have a bus stop there. So let's build a specific train line for this, or, uh, I mean, a, a bus line. Wait a minute, let's make sure we clicked on the correct one. I want to go buses from there. Does it have to go in the specific order? I guess it could just go in a loop. I don't think it has to go... Uh, I guess we're picking up everybody now? I don't know. Who cares? All right, they're all connected. Now we just need some buses on them. So since we're starting down here, let's buy 25 buses. I don't know. That might be way too many considering the traffic in town, but good luck, everybody. Uh, ooh, a limo. Oh, there's a reason for the limo. Uh-oh. That's going to be our next objective. All right, let's buy. I'm going to buy smaller vehicles here, but more of them. So let's go with 25. Uh, that should be fine. Okay. And then line 20. Okay, so we should be ready to exit the grandstand. So it says, connect the mark zones at the canal construction site. Good. Oil refinery. Good. Steel mill. Good. And palace. Oh, with a limousine. Oh, crap. Drive the route with a limousine. Oh, that's what it is. Damn it. Okay, I knew there was a limo in there for a reason. I thought... It <laughs> well, it says to exit grandstands. I thought we were transporting people away from the grandstands. Well, here comes our... Oh, look. Oh boy. There goes our army of buses. Well, let's buy a limo then. And we'll have that ride the route too. Cool. So everybody can come along. I guess everybody has to get there before us. So let's just pretend. There we go. All right. So the limo literally just needs to reach each one of those stops. That's fine. All these buses going through will probably generate some more passengers too. That's totally fine. What does that mean to exit grandstands? All right, let's watch everybody cross the bridge. Look at all this traffic that's going to come across this bridge right now. Wow. Where's the limo? Limo's bringing up the rear. Okay, he's almost too... Wow, he almost T-boned that, <laughs> that bus at the intersection. Oh, come on. Now's not the time for autosave. All these buses are going to create a havoc. Also, I, I would wish in this game... I've noticed that whenever you make a stop, they always seem to stop like a quarter before the end of the station. So, like, for example, when we were delivering our marble earlier for our glorious palace. Let's take a look. Um... Yeah, they stop there. Like, why not stop at the end? That's that's almost like two truck lengths that are blocked because of that. All right. Now we just got to finish this thing. All right. I'll check back after it happens. All right, we're just waiting for them to pull up at the final bus stop over here. So, uh, man, there's a lot of traffic. I don't know where their car is. Uh, let's see. Is there going to be, like, some sort of assassination attempt or something when they get in town? Uh, let's see. I can't spot it from here. It'd be hard to find a little black car, but anyway, they need to get to here in order for this to be done, so we'll just have to wait for it to come down the road. Well, also, I forgot we can make dedicated bus lanes in this game, too, which is really cool. Um, I haven't yet experimented too much with the road works and such, 
because it's been mostly about trains and whatnot. And I've been not caring. I've just been basically try, trying to mill by palace. Now it's important for me to clear the roads. Otherwise, the uh, presidential couple's not going to be able to get here. So let me just extend a little bit so we can do this. They should be on their way. And uh, we'll be here soon. Let's go for passengers. Looks Long like they made it. Oh, we did it. Hell yeah. Couple. Woo. Hip, hip, hooray. 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 Whoa. On the other hand, your services seem to be less appreciated than before. And rumor has it that discord is growing among the people. Maybe the smart move would be to change sides. You mean going to TeamSpeak? If they're going, if they're going to Discord, we may as well switch to TeamSpeak. All right, that's everything, folks. Thanks for leaving a like. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.